Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to World Cup Fantasy Football. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my team for round of 16. In this week, I have live streamed four times in a row. Now, I did that for a reason so I can start getting all the information that I need to start setting up my team for round of 16. With your help and, you know, with your suggestions, it has helped me so much and thank you. Yesterday in my stream, I hit over 100 viewers, which was incredible for my stream and for my channel. And uh, let's see if we can continue it and hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some kind of ideas for your team for round of 16. As you can see, my overall rank right now is 16k. It's decent. Um, I don't think you should worry about that too much because yesterday morning I was 8,000 and now I'm 16. So there is a lot of drop and you can, you can gain quite a lot as well. As you can see, this is my team setup so far. And obviously you can see there that I'm missing one striker. I'm just basically trying to figure out, do I need a really good captain option for day one? And, um... And that is the spot that I really need to think about. I need to figure out what player that I want. Now, I can go for Costa. I can go for Mbappe. I could go for someone else, like go for Messi and try something different. And that is the only position right now that I really want to change, which will change other uh, few players that I have um, in my team. So let me just quickly go through uh, my plan of what I'm going to be doing. So for round of 16, this is the fixtures. Um, basically, my strategy that I'm going to go with is trying to get at least four really good captain options for each day. So I want a really good captain option for Saturday. I want a good uh, captain option for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So that is the strategy that I'm going to go with. And the next strategy is you kind of kind of gamble you got to go for a team that you think that is going to go through to the next stage now France and Argentina we don't know what's going to happen with that right so it's very difficult to kind of predict um, who's going to do well but of course this is football anything can happen but we have to start predicting things because if it does go well for us then we will have them players for the next round so we don't need to transfer them out a lot of people are going for Spain because they are playing in a weakened side of Russia. Spain should win, but you just don't know. Things like that. Like where a lot of people are um, adding a lot of Brazilian players because they're against Mexico. Same with Belgium against um, uh, Japan. So there are these options that you can go for, but you've got to be quite... Don't go for like, I don't know. You can gamble. You can go for four Belgian players if you want four Brazilian players but what if they do go out that means you lost four of your players yes you will gain them points but it's very difficult to predict so I try, I'm going to try to balance my team a little bit and uh, see um, if I can get a really good team for all of these days so this is some of the choices that I'm going to go with there is a little bit of a template going on and the template is like getting some Spanish players, Belgium, and Brazilian players. And there is a talk, a lot of talks about the Uruguayan defense because they have been incredible and a few um, options on the bench as well that you can see. So we've got Hazard, just someone that takes penalties. Yes, we can have Lukaku, um, but he did have that little injury. He should play, but still I want to go with someone who could probably guarantee me points if there is a penalty or free kick. Or just someone has got a, a higher chance of getting a points. Uh, we've got Harry Kane, same situation. He takes penalties for England. Um, yes, he is expensive. But in that final day, if none of my players do well, then I've got Harry Kane to save me if it needs to be. I do have the space open um, for an extra um, attacker. I don't know who to put, pick right now. There is a few players like Costa. Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo, you know, we've got all of these players, maybe double up on Belgian players and go for Lukaku. So I'm going to hold that as much as I can because that will change one or two players um, and down below. 
Isco, an incredible player. I think he's going to do well. A cheap still, 8.5. I think if I just reset this and just do this so you guys can see the numbers. Modric, 9.1. Someone um, that actually takes penalties uh, for that team is really good option. Yes, he is expensive with 9.1. I could actually downgrade him and start upgrading him somewhere else, but I can't see anyone that I really desperately want from the midfielders. We've got Coutinho just to add that Brazilian players in there. He's been doing well, and why, why not just still have him? You can go for Neymar if you want, but it's just one of those things. You can take a risk. It's your team. Do what you like. That's it. Don't worry about what I do because I probably will get it wrong. It's all about what you think is going to happen. And it's all about predicting. It's very difficult. Carvajal, 5.5 and cheap, cheap player that plays for Spain. Spain should do well against Russia. Godin, just someone who's just solid in defense. Yes, I should double up on Uruguay in defense. But what, I've, what about if Ronaldo scores? That's all gone, right? I don't want to take too much of a risk. Miranda, uh, a Brazilian player. Yes, I should. I, I want to upgrade this to deal um, to silver. Um, but if I have any uh, money, of course I will do that. Uh, Mounier, just someone because uh, yeah, you know from Belgian team. He's a defender that goes and attacks. So even though if he concedes, then he's got a really good chance to get them points. And Courtois, this is just a template really. I just added in there just in case mode. Um, if I really like, if I, if I have no other options, so yeah, goalkeeper and Mbappe is literally the two spots that I really desperately want to change, and uh, yeah, and then I'll see what happens, and I'll let you guys know on my Twitter account. And of course, we got two um, Sweden players here. This player right here is a defender that takes penalties. Why not have him on your bench? He's incredible. He's cheap as well, five point one. A player that is is getting a lot of points. He's already scored a couple of penalties anyway. Um, a really cheap um, Japan, Japanese um, player, four point six. Really good option to kind of, you know, have a bench player that actually plays, and you know you so you can start using the money elsewhere. And we got Contero from Colombia takes free kicks. I think it takes corners. I'm not hundred percent sure. I have to check up, and I think it does. Um, but yeah, very good option, very cheap option, who's just going to be on the bench for now. Um, so yeah, that is my team. Um, there are still a few things that I want to change up. I still want to make improvements to it, but I wanted to make this video so you guys can see. And then maybe we can chat um, in the comments and see if we can um, create a really good team for round of 16. The plan is if I do stick with Mbappe, it will be him as my captain. And then let's have a quick look. So he will be the captain for Saturday. Um, probably Isco or uh, Modric will be my captain on Sunday. On Monday, it will probably be Hazard or uh, Coutinho. I think I will go for Hazard because he takes penalties. And the last but not least, it will be the England player, Kane. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys got any kind of suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter, guys. That is where I update you guys when I'm going to be doing my stream, uh, what kind of players I'm captaining and stuff like that. And it's all fun. And if you have any questions, talk to me there as well. It's all good. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, come give this video a like. Come subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.